and welcome back to TW 2016, the branding solution, and we are here on Shockwave, fresh after Hell in a Cell, but with only two weeks until Survivor Series, so there'll be a bit of rush booking to get the Survivor Series matches complete. So we're on the pre-show and we have Austin Aries versus Alamas. I just need to change Corey Graves' gimmick. Oh well, well, never mind. And then we have Murphy and Blake defeating Carino and Finley. Um, again, the usual suspects. Adam Cole defeating Shane Strickland. Adam Cole is getting good matches, so he is literally on the verge of a push with his next rivalry starting later tonight. Kenny Omega defeated Biff Busick, who is pretty much ready to become a full-time jobber on one of either Raw or Shockwave. TJ Perkins defeated Alexander Wolfe, again someone who, with the right work, could be a great partnership with Busick. Braun Strowman squashes Kevin Kyle. Yep, I don't mind that. And Andre Cole defeats Rhino in the main event of the pre-show. I need to give him a little bit of a push. He hasn't had much of a chance ever under me. So this is his chance. Going into the main show. Wow, this is a poor rating to start the show. But AJ Styles is joined in the ring with the rest of the club. Yeah, I couldn't get enough people in the segment. So I've just used the Bucks and the club. No Kenny Omega. He says, now we're back working as a unit. Austin Aries will learn the hard way at Survivor Series, if he can find any more partners, that is. As for right now, I demand the Young Bucks get a tag team title match, and I guess I'm just going to have Survivor Series off. Which brings out CM Punk. And it's like, AJ, remember me? You beat me for the title, but now I've earned my rematch. And after speaking to Shane, I will get it at the next Shockwave exclusive pay-per-view which is actually TLC but as for Survivor Series Shane has let me put together a team to face you the winning team gets to pick the match here are a few of your old friends who will be joining me good luck finding people who actually want to work with you and Randy Orton and Oblivion Max turn up on stage so it's going to be Punk, Orton and Max so far versus AJ Styles who will be all alone and he's improving which is great to see even though the rating got poor so a lot of this show is building the teams um, that's the honest assessment I only have two weeks to build the team so we will be panic booking this In the opening match, which is very good opening match, the Young Bucks defeat the prime time players. When Nick Jackson defeated Titus O'Neil using a foreign object, I wanted them to have a little cheap victory. And we're building the tag team picture to have the Bucks, the players, the club, the tag team champions, the revival, and the Briscoe brothers all in mixing around in it and after the match Austin Aries goes to see the primetime players and says I saw what happened out there I think you should come and help me finish off the club once and for all so the idea is now Austin Aries will have his team complete because he'll have the primetime players and the Briscoe brothers versus the club Kenny Omega Anderson Gallows and the two Young Bucks. So that match is complete now. Then we have a, I put a Cruiserweight um, match in just for the hell of it. And I had a Tommy defeat Fenix. Yeah, I always wanted to see, because Fenix is someone that's really impressed me in his age, means there's a few years left in him. And he's only about 25, I think. So he could be some long term main eventish guy. 
backstage, AJ Styles storms into the locker room with basically all the hills in. Bobby Roode, Bubba Ray, Cesaro, Cody Rhodes, Rusev, Damien Sandow. and says, I want you to come and work for me. Let's go and take on CM Punk and prove to the world that you will now be offered a chance to be honorary members of my club. And while he isn't going to get a guaranteed yes or no out of anybody, most of his team is in this picture. And this was just thrown together. Mark Henry and the Golden Truth lose to Kane and the club. I just wanted to give the club a tag team victory with main eventers around. So it did what it needed to do. We have a video airing about what happened between John Cena and Brock Lesnar. And we get to see the update on Brock on John Cena after Brock Lesnar's vicious attack at him last night at Hell in a Cell. John Cena is still in the hospital after that attack, so neither of them will be here tonight. And Brock Lesnar will be here next week to address his actions. In another very impressive match for the show, um, Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro had a draw double count, which also had Akada run in and attack Cesaro and Nakamura, basically. Um, yep, yeah, I went with that. I'm moving Akada towards Nakamura again, and Cesaro can move on to someone else for his US. 74, great rating. Again, as I said, we're filling up the teams. CM Punk was really impressed with Apollo Crews. And as it looks like AJ is going to be trying to get Bobby Roode, he wants him to be another member of his team. And Apollo Crews agrees. So Punk now has four members of his team. Uh, a terrible match, okay. Mojo Rowley defeated Jake. Evans when Adam Riddle distracted Evans. Yep, yeah, I'm keeping them going in a rivalry. They will be in a match, so we'll see where it goes. Tyler Breeze comes out and cuts a promo on Adam Cole, saying you may have got the win at the pay-per-view at NSL, but you've yet to beat me. Um, so Tyler Breeze or Adam Cole is going to be the next little one, both searching to become European champion. Next match we have Shelton Benjamin defeat Zack Ryder when Mojo Rowley comes out to distract Zack Ryder. Yes, I'm happy with that. It's still slow burn of that rivalry. And Shelton needed a win. And after Apollo Crews got his big chance in a match to be in part of Punk's team. He faced Pentagon Jr. and gets a 65 and a victory. Even if Pentagon gets a better ring performance. Backstage we see AJ Styles once more deep in conversation with Rusev and AJ's got the first person to confirm that he's going to be in his team. But with Orton in Punk's team you would think Rusev would jump at the chance to get on his attacking one more time so the idea is more the commentators are speculating on what's being said rather than knowing so yeah an 82 good rating in my main event which wasn't the greatest but still we have Punk Orton and Max defeat Styles, Bobby Roode and Rusev when CM Punk defeated AJ Styles during a match Cody Rhodes Turned on AJ Styles. So we are going to complete this now. It's been building up. It has to get a good rating. Complete success. Cody Rhodes then shakes CM Punk's hand and has now become part of the final member of CM Punk's team uh, after their rivalry. Both Cody Rhodes and Punk have built up a mutual respect. Cody Rhodes showing all that respect in this 
and an 84 to end the show. Could have saved the show. Let's see. We are going to get a slow burning 74. Okay, we know it wasn't going to be the best because this was a lot of panic booking. Um, Bobby Roode and Rusev will be part of AJ Styles' team. I have made my decision on who the other two are going to be, but it will be revealed on the next episode of Shockwave. So we'll head back to the main screen to see what the world thought of the pay-per-view. And we're back to the main screen, so we'll see what the world thought. We have pretty good. They enjoyed it, so that's okay. Samoa Joe would like a pay rise. He can have a pay rise. And the rest of the things that's offers for people I can't quite get. So, due to where they live in the world, I don't have too much of an issue with that. Brock Lesnar is not happy. I swear that's new. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. So, we have a 72, a 75, 66, 72, always the weak link, 56, 54, and an 83. Which somehow didn't, that video didn't help, but keeps it strong because they were both on the card, I hope. Um, Samoa Joe, Kenny Omega, Brock Lesnar's on there, which is good to see. Got Carlo Riley on there now, so there's some pre matches for these guys to have. Obviously, Kendrick is not around at the moment. And um, that seems to be everything for the show. We'll just check to see whether this has got any more prestige from being defended. It, it looks like it has. So we may do a few more in the next couple of shows. But that's going to conclude Shockwave, and we'll be back with Raw next week, and we're all going to be going unstoppable run. So we have a bit longer than actually four for this build-up. I keep forgetting I've got the unstoppable pay-per-view first, and then Survivor Series. So we actually have three weeks, three more weeks till Survivor Series. But still, we can still tease who's going to be in. HA's team, like you couldn't find a partner or a couple of partners which could work. But as I say, thank you for watching, and I hope you come back for Raw next time.